Hey everybody, Justin Seeley here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. As always, I appreciate you making me part of your day. If you're new to the channel, I talk about a lot of stuff here like technology, graphic design software, and do a lot of tutorials and all that good stuff. So if you're into that, please go ahead and consider subscribing and uh, smashing that like button on the video and also turning on notifications so that you get a little ding every single time I post new content. Now, today's video doesn't necessarily have a sponsor, so instead it's brought to you by Diet Mountain Dew. Because nothing says diet like carbonated artificially sweetened water with yellow dye number five. Let's get into the tutorial. Today we're going to be in Adobe Illustrator and I'm going to be showing you how to create this awesome shape that you see here using a trick that before I knew it, like I didn't even know it existed until recently. And when I saw someone do it, I was like, oh my God, this totally changes the game about how I work. So I'm going to show you this trick now, and hopefully it's going to just make your mind go just like mine did. So as you can see, it's a pretty cool shape. Um, that makes almost like this concentric circle flowery thing that could be used for a variety of different things. But in any case, let me show you how I did this. So I'm going to start off just by creating a new document and I'm going to use a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels, but it really doesn't matter how big or how small your particular document is because this trick works no matter what. So then we're going to just create a background. And so I'll grab the rectangle tool, go to the top left corner, and we'll just do a thousand by a thousand and create a new shape. I will fill that with black, remove the stroke, and then just so the background can't be moved around, we'll lock it with command or control two on our keyboard. Now to start our shape, we're gonna start off just with a basic circle or an ellipse. So grab the ellipse tool, and then I'm gonna use a smart guide to kind of find the center here. And then I'm gonna use the Option key on Mac, the Alt key on PC, to drag out with the Shift key from the center, just like so, to create this shape. Then I'm going to grab my Pen tool by pressing the letter P on my keyboard. I'm gonna to come to the top point here, hold down the Option or Alt key, click once, go to the bottom, hold down the Option or Alt key, click again. Then I'm gonna switch back to the regular Selection tool, and I'm just going to resize this shape until I get it to the desired leaf shape that I want. From there, let's add a color. So in this case, I'm going to change the gradient up a little bit for this. So I'll choose the default gradient at first, and then I'll go into the gradient panel and we'll kind of give this a light blue and we'll, whoops, accidentally added a stop there. Let's undo that. And then let's double click that stop and let's do something kind of like maybe a light green, something like that. Last step on this part is by going to the opacity section in the properties panel and lowering the opacity to something like 75%. And there we go. All right, now here comes the fun and mind blowing part. You ready for this? Select this shape and then go up to the object menu, go down to repeat and select radial and immediately you're given this little thing here which creates a radial duplicate of this shape around a circle and you can use this slider right here to click and drag up to increase the number of shapes or click and drag down to decrease the number of shapes I'm gonna increase the number of shapes to 20 and you can see it tells you right there in that little gray box how many instances of the shape you have. So I, I can see that it says 20 there. So I'll leave that. Then this inner circle I can use to expand or contract this thing so that it's closer together like that. And then when I click away, there is my magical flower shape. And the best thing about it, it still has the same appearance as the original object. So if I come over to my swatches panel and I change this to, let's say, the orange to yellow gradient, it all changes all at once, completely all across the shape. And the best thing about this thing is it's always editable. I can always subtract or add more instances 
anytime I want. Isn't that amazing? Like when I saw somebody do that, I was like, holy sh**, how in the hell did you do that? Well, that's how the hell you do that. And it is super simple. So the next time you need to create something like that, whether it's a logo for a yoga studio or whatever else you might be creating in Illustrator, use this trick because it's super simple, it's super easy, and it just absolutely blew my mind that this was something that I could do. And I hope that it blew your mind and you enjoyed it as well. So that's it for me. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you right back here again for my next tutorial. And if you want to catch up with me outside of this little square you're watching me in now, Follow me on Twitter, I'm at Justin Seeley, or over on Instagram, at Justin S. Seeley. Thank you again to the person who stole my name. I got nothing else. 